Hey, Kent Cove Kids, Mr. Kevin here. This month we're talking about Pentecost, which is a really important event in the Christian church. Why is it so important? And why is it called Pentecost? Well, it's all about the holidays. Jesus' story is often tied to existing holidays, like the days leading up to Easter is Passover, which is when Jewish people all over the world celebrate God's protection over them. And seven weeks and one day after Passover is the Feast of Weeks, which is when all the work that has happened since Passover is celebrated to thank God for all that he has provided. In Jesus' time, they also called it Pentecoste, which is Greek for 50th, because seven weeks and a day is 50 days. So Pentecoste, 50th, Pentecost. But why is that holiday important to followers of Jesus? Because it's the church's birthday! Woohoo! Okay, so Jesus had told his disciples after he rose from the dead and before he left for heaven to go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded to you. That's what we call the Great Commission. Well, they knew about God, the Father, and about Jesus, the Son, but what about the Holy Spirit? How were they going to know about that? And all nations. They were Jews. They spoke Hebrew and Greek and Aramaic, but how could they possibly go out and speak to all nations? That's a lot of languages. On that day, the 50th day after Passover, Jesus' disciples were gathered together to observe Pentecost. Then, whammo! A wind blew into the building like the breath of God. They were suddenly covered with light like a tongue of fire, and they felt the presence of the Holy Spirit entering their hearts and being present in the world. The promises that God and Jesus made were fulfilled, and as the disciples left the place to tell everyone what had happened, everyone, no matter what language they spoke, could understand what the disciples were saying. Everyone! Not just the Jews or the Romans, but all nations. It was a big day for Jesus' church. How big? Well, soon after the Holy Spirit arrived, Peter went to deliver a sermon about Jesus and the good news of his sacrifice, and the people gathered to hear him heard his message. 3,000 people asked to be baptized right there. And that is what we recognize as the beginning of the Christian church. And this year, that day is actually coming up at the end of May. So, happy early birthday, church! Happy birthday! And I'll see you again soon. Bye!